What is BPPV? Benign proxismal positional vertigo is the most common vestibular diagnosis that we see here in the US and throughout the world. So it's important to understand that this is not medically dangerous or progressive. It is a vestibular condition that lives within the inner ear. It is an issue with these little calcium carbonate crystals that we call autoconia and they live within the utricle, which is a little end organ inside the inner ear. And in abnormal cases, they can fall into one of the three semicircular canals. When we have this debris floating inside these semicircular canals, we send abnormal neural messages to the nervous system telling your brain that your head is basically moving on a swivel when it's really not. So it's important to see a vestibular physical therapist, diagnose where the debris is located, and then select the appropriate repositioning maneuver to resolve the condition. When we are treating and evaluating for BPPV, we need an oculography setup. We put these infrared goggles on you to observe your eye movements. When we put you in the positions to test for certain types of BPPV, the clinician will evaluate the direction of the torsion of your eye movement as well as the direction of the beat of the eye movement. And that information tells us not only which ear is affected, but which canal is affected. And based on that information, the clinician can select the appropriate maneuver to resolve the condition. What's really important to understand is that the Epley maneuver is what's commonly referred to and prescribed to treat positional vertigo throughout the world. And the Epley maneuver actually only treats posterior canal variant BPPV. And while posterior canal variant BPPV is the most common variant, it is not the only one. So the, the Epley maneuver will not work when one of the other canals are affected. So it's really important to consult with a physical therapist, diagnose the appropriate canal, and select the appropriate repositioning maneuver that can resolve the condition.